Hello everyone and welcome to section 6, password cracking. So let's look at what we'll be learning in this section. Alright, so this section is going to revolve around password cracking. So uh, different types of password cracking will be trying to crack all, you know, logins, uh, we'll be trying to crack raw passwords, etc, etc. Alright, so uh, looking at what we'll be doing in the first video, we'll get started by learning how to generate a word list. Alright, so we're going to be looking at how to generate a word list with Crunch. So Crunch is a fantastic tool that allows you to generate custom uh, word lists. We'll then move on to password cracking with John the Ripper. All right. So John the Ripper is a fantastic and extremely powerful password cracking tool. We will be looking at cracking passwords like uh, zip files or, you know, passwords on zip files or RAR files, etc., etc. We'll then be moving on to password cracking with Hydra. We will be trying to crack a, an online login profile or a page. And, uh, from then onwards, again, using Hydra to crack that, uh, using either a brute force attack uh, with a word list. We'll then be finally finishing off with Medusa. We'll be looking at cracking, password cracking again, an online or trying to crack login credentials, uh, similar to what we'll be doing with Hydra. So Medusa is a very, very similar tool to Hydra. So that should die together with each other. All right. So that's what we're going to be learning in this section. And uh, let's get started. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to generate word list with Crunch. All right. So Crunch is a fantastic uh, word list generator. Uh, that generates word lists based on the criteria that you pass to it. So it's a fantastic password utility that is pre-installed on Linux and it's excellent for generating word lists. Okay, so in the previous section, we looked at how to use word lists for brute force, uh, essentially for brute force attacks, but we did not look at how to create one and how they're used. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own word list with Crunch. All right, so as I said, Crunch comes pre-installed and pre-configured on Linux, which is awesome. All right, now before we get started, I just want to show you guys something that, uh, you know, that is really, really important for you to understand. And that is, uh, if you go uh, into your file directory, and uh, the point here is that Kali Linux already comes with some pre-configured or already comes with uh, some word lists uh, that you can use by default. Now, these word lists can be found in other locations. Uh, go, go to your computer and you go to user and you go into your share. And you just want to scroll all the way down or you can use your search menu here and just type in word lists. All right. So once you get that, just open it up. And as you can see, you have your word list right in here that come pre-installed or that come with Cal Linux. And the great thing about these ones is they are very, very powerful and they are based on different types of attacks. So, for example, you have your SQL map word list. You have your Nmap word list. You have one of the most popular word lists in the world, which is the RockQ word list and uh, you know so on and so forth so these come really in handy when specifying uh, a word list especially if you do not want to generate your own this is a great starting point all right so you just select the working directory which is user share and word lists all right so let's get back to crunch and let's look at how we can uh, create our own word list all right so the first thing you need to make sure that you're working in the directory in which you want to store your word lists in all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change my directory to my desktop so i'm going to change my directory to my desktop and now in here i'm going to create a folder uh, i'm just going to call it word lists all right so make directory word lists and i'm going to change my directory into that folder because that's where i want to store all my word lists so i'm going to hit enter and we can clear and now we can get started with crunch all right, so crunch is very, very simple to understand and it's very, very easy to start generating your own word list depending on the parameters that you want to pass. Okay, so let's look at how to use it. So the syntax is very simple. You obviously start off with the, the crunch, all right, the crunch command. And you can also look at the help menu if you ever feel lost. All right, so as you can see, the usage is pretty much uh, given here. So you have crunch, the minimum and maximum value, and then you select your options. All right, so I'll explain to you what this means. So if we just clear this and we get started. So let's say, for example, we want to generate a word list that contains words uh, with uh, three or more letters, but the letters should not be less than three and not be more than something like uh, five. All right, so what would we do? We would say the minimum amount of letters to generate or work with in terms of the words to create is three. We then select the maximum amount. So the maximum should be um, let's see five. Okay. So the minimum and maximum is specified now. Now we need to select the character set that you want to specify. So a character set is pretty much self-explanatory. It is the characters that you want to specify to be used in this word list. Okay. So for example, we can say A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G and only specify A, B, C till the A to G essentially. And then we can also specify numbers. So we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So it will only use this character set to generate a word list. Now, by default, it's really not something that you would be looking at, but it comes really in specialized situations when you want to generate word lists for uh, more specific types of cracking or approaches. All right, we're going to create this one and I'll show you the correct way of creating one or the way that I use to generate word lists. Okay, so this is what the syntax is so far. So we have specified crunch, we have specified the minimum uh, amount of letters, and we have specified the maximum amount of letters. So we know that all the words in the word list will be more than three letters, but less than five letters. Excellent. We've then selected our character set, which is or the, the characters that the word list will be based off. So it's only going to use A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, now you might be asking, well, how do we output this into a word list? Well, what we do is we use the O command, which specifies an output, and then we just type in the name of the word list that we want to give. So I'm just going to call this word list one dot txt. All right, the extension is very important. You can use a dot LST extension, all right, which is also good, or you can use a dot txt extension, which is also going to work perfectly. All right, so I'm just going to hit enter. And as you can see, the crunch will now generate uh, the following amount of data and it'll give you the size or the amount of data in terms of the word list that is going to generate. And as you can see, it took only about four megabytes. That's because this word list is relatively small because of the character set that we've provided. Remember, if you do not specify a character set, which is what we'll be looking at, it's going to generate a, a word list that contains all characters. Okay, so you can expect the size to be quite large. As you can see, the units specified here, you have gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte. So, you know, things can get really, really big, and it's very, very important to understand that. Okay, so let us look at the word list file now. If I just go into my word list folder, and I look at the word list 1.txt, if I just open that up, you can see it's going to take a while to open up and there you are. So you have characters uh, you, with the character set that we have letters with the character set and the words that have been generated. So you can see some three letter words. If we scroll all the way down, you have your four letter words, five and so on and so forth. And it continues all the way down using all the character sets and the combinations that are possible. Now you can see that this word list is extremely large and, uh, you know, likely so it is a very, very powerful word list in its own way. Okay. So that is how to generate a word list in proper theory. So now let's look at how to create a word list that is actually quite powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say crunch again. Let me just clear the terminal. So I'm going to hit crunch. Okay, crunch. Now I'll specify the same amount of the same range. So I'll specify the minimum of three and a maximum of six. This is uh, usually about a good range to work with, especially when you're trying to crack, uh, you know, services like SSH, uh, you know, your telnet port, etc., etc. Now, uh, I would not uh, specify any character set. That's because I wanted to use the entire character set and therefore it is it becomes even more powerful because the amount of combinations have increased and therefore there is a higher chance of you actually getting the password that you're looking for. So now all I have to do is I just have to output the word list. All right, so I'm just going to call it word list 2.txt and uh, once I hit enter, it's going to output this word list. So I'm going to hit enter and as you can see, this one is slightly larger, significantly larger. It's two gigabytes. Bytes, all right, so now it's going to generate uh, the following number of lines as you can see it's going to tell you and of course because of uh, the, the size of it it's going to take quite a while so as you can see crunch 8% completed generating output so this is a really 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 huge word list now something else I want to explain is you can generate word lists using crunch all right so it's a fantastic a password utility to generate word lists. Now, most of the powerful word lists that you'll find online and more specifically word lists like uh, the ones that Kali Linux already comes with, which you can find in the user and you can find it in share. And if I just search for it here, I want to explain a few things while Crunch is generating that large word list file. All right, so let me just uh, open that up. Now, the thing with these word lists, uh, more specifically the RockU word list, is it contains uh, leaked or stolen credentials, actual, you know, passwords. It actually contains passwords that were leaked or stolen from a website. 
and then were, were released to the public. So this is why these word lists are considered much more powerful because they actually contain real password combinations that are likely to get you into a system. Now by default using something like crunch is like shooting in the dark. That's because you might be able to crack a login or you know for some reason if the word list was not good enough or did not contain the correct character set you might end up with a failed exploit or a brute force attack. Okay so we, we looked at performing a brute force attack in the previous section when we were using Metasploit and obviously in the WordPress section where we are trying to brute force the login of the WordPress site you saw that when using a word list it does work if you have a fantastic character set. Now by default this word list that we're generating with crunch as you can see is quite large more specifically two gigabytes uh, but it, it is quite powerful in the sense that you are likely to crack services like uh, the SSH or Telnet uh, you know really really basic types of services. All right so the word list is generated and now we can just open up our folder and the word list 2.txt. Now this uh, obviously depending uh, on its size will take quite a while to open up with my text editor uh, and there you are. So now as you can see it is still calculating the amount of lines that it contains which just proves to you how large this word list is. Okay, so even if we scroll all the way down, you can see the number of combinations that you can find here. And we've not even hit the ones that have numbers or contain characters. So that was how to generate a word list with Crunch. It is a fantastic password utility and it's always good to know how to generate your own word lists with your specific uh, character sets or user preferences. All right, so that's going to be it for this video.